The Battle of Razal was fought between the Rashidun Caliphate and the Rai Kingdom ruled by Raja Razal in early 644. It was the first encounter of the Rashidun Caliphate in the Indian subcontinent. The exact location of the battle is not known, but historians suggest it was fought on the western bank of the river Indus. Suhail ibn Adi was given command of this expedition by Caliph Umar. Suhail marched from Basra in 643. He eventually reached Makran, what is now a part of present-day Pakistan. It was a traditional territory of Sassanids for centuries but was then a domain of the Rai Kingdom, who annexed it in 636 to 637 although they acted as a vassal of Sassanid Persians in past. Let us discuss a bit about the background of the war. Before the Muslim raids, Makran was under the Hindu rise of Sindh, but the region was also shared by the Zumbils. From an early period, parts of it frequently alternated between Indian and Persian control with the Persian portion in the west and the Indian portion in the east. It was later annexed by the Persians from Rai Sahib as too. It was reconquered by the usurper Chachavanga in 631. Ten years later, it was described to be under the government of Persia by Xuanzang who visited the region. Three years later however, when the Arabs invaded, it was regarded as the frontier of Ol Hind. Raja Razal, a local Hindu potentate of the Kingdom of Sindh, concentrated huge armies in Makran to halt the advance of the Muslims. Suhail was reinforced by Uthman ibn Abi Allahs from Persepolis and Hakam ibn Amr from Basra. The combined forces defeated Raja Razal at the Battle of Razal, who retreated to the eastern bank of River Indus. The Raja's army had included war elephants, but these had posed little problem for the Muslim army, who had dealt with them during the conquest of Persia. In accordance with the orders of Caliph Umar, the captured war elephants were sold in Islamic Persia, with the proceeds distributed among the soldiers as share in booty. Further east from the Indus River lay Sindh, which was the domain of the Rai Kingdom, Umar, after learning that Sindh was a poor and relatively barren land, disapproved Suhail's proposal to cross the Indus River. For the time being, Umar declared the Indus River, a natural barrier, to be the easternmost frontier of his domain. This campaign came to an end in mid-644, aftermath of the war. This was the first confrontation between the Rashidun Caliphate and a Hindu kingdom of Sindh. The victorious Arab army returned to Persia along with booty and a war elephant. In accordance with the orders of Umar, the captured war elephants were sold in Islamic Persia, with the proceeds distributed among the soldiers as share in booty. Caliph Umar, after learning that Balakistan was a barren land and unfavorable for sending an army, instructed Hakim bin Amr al-Taglibi that for the time being Makran should be the easternmost frontier of the Rashidun Caliphate, and that no further attempt should be made to extend the conquests. This was mainly because of Umar's policy of consolidating the rule before conquering more land. The same year, in 644, Umar had already rejected the proposal by Arnaf ibn Qais, conqueror of Khurasan, of crossing Oxus River in the north to invade Central Asia. In the west he similarly had called back Amr ibn Alas who had marched to North Africa and had captured Tripoli. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.